All right, so we're almost ready to test drive this. Actually, I've been playing around with it for a while. I'm not really a markup language, actually extensive markup language person. I can program in a number of languages, but this isn't one of them. <clears throat> anyway, I found out that doing this and then followed by this actually is how you make a comment. I did a little poking around. So first of all, we have the config file. <clears throat> and uh, the config file is where we have our questions. And I ran into some problems. I couldn't get this to test drive, which I'll show you in a minute. And so I actually ended up just kind of fitting all of my questions into the same configuration file format. <clears throat> because I just figured that was easier. One of the problems though that I realized, which may have been my only real problem, was that in here I had a question about um, if you, a family member, and then I had and or, like this, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that that slash caused me a lot of grief. I can tell you right now it's working, so We'll just go into our easy HTML and we'll see. We'll click on index and just play around a little bit and see if it works. Oh, it still works. So that apparently wasn't it. I don't know, <clears throat> but but it works. <clears throat> um, another thing I had to, to change was in the uh, language <clears throat> in here. I had made this characteristic and then this characteristic. This has to be agreement and then you can say characteristic or li most like or unlike or whatever it is, but this has to be agreement and this has to be disagreement. Otherwise, they just have the number one, two, three for the piles, but it doesn't have the description. <clears throat> So how did I get this to run? Again, I went into my folder, easy HTML queue. I clicked on index, but you don't want to just double click on it or open it in any other way. You have to open it in Firefox. <clears throat> and I'll tell you that when I test drove this the first time doing my very first study with HTML queue. It worked and then it suddenly didn't work and this was the message I got from Sean Banisic who is the Ken Q guy. <clears throat> and so I had to come in and uh, turn, right, make from true to false this privacy file unique origin. And then that security setting then allowed me to open up local files. That's why we use Firefox is because it allows us to open a local file. You can't do that in, say, Google Chrome. And so now we can come in <clears throat> to my Firefox. <clears throat> Here's the beginning of our study, right? This is just a little introduction. Ask you to maximize your window, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> and then hit continue. Here we have our instructions, <clears throat> and right now it says characteristic and uncharacteristic. We'll just kind of drag and drop these with no real, I just want to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> um, if you get a, a pink, basically, error, it seems that that is almost always the language file. I'm not really sure why, because I'm not a markup language person. <clears throat> so, I could ask Sean, but in the meantime, I can make this work. It's like I tell my programming students, I'm not really a great programmer. I'm, I'm just a pretty decent troubleshooter. Which is okay when you teach programming, because you spend a lot of time troubleshooting students' programs. Sometimes, well, I've gotten even better at pro program troubleshooting. So now we have our piles, <clears throat> right? And now we have some instructions, which I will not read to you. But this is the text 
that we changed way back in, um, I believe it's in the config file. <clears throat> right, so now I'm ready to continue. Right, we'll just drag and drop. We'll make sure it's a great idea to test drive this. <clears throat> we have already set up everything so that if I hit submit, I'm going to have to go into my firebrand and delete this entry. <clears throat> and then I can show you a little bit about what the entries look like once you've had um, participants enter. It looks a little weird if you're used to getting hard copies. <clears throat> I personally usually just, I read all the comments as they come in, and which I've actually been doing. I can do that online. I can't read completely them, the, way, the comments, but I can get a general idea. But I usually like to poke around a little bit as they come in. It's a little harder with this, but it's not too shabby. So now I have everything in here. I mentioned before, <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could use the snipping tool or some other screen grab and <clears throat> have participants just take a screen grab and, and email that to you if you wanted to. But <clears throat> of course, this makes it so much easier because it all downloads into a database. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna hit continue. Right, and now it tells me that I should look it over, <clears throat> right? Oh, this is an optional step and you can deactivate it in your own survey. I'll have to go in and say, this is an optional step, right? <clears throat> and, or just eliminate it altogether. And now I hit continue. Right? <clears throat> it tells me that it wants me to comment so I can make a comment here. Well, it's a very long, And then here's number 23, <clears throat> right? Here's the uncharacter most uncharacteristic. <clears throat> and then, right, I just, I'll just type something in here. It doesn't really matter. Click on continue. And now it's finally going to ask me my demographic questions. <clears throat> I'm going to have to scooch all the way up here so I could put in birth date. Yeah, which was 1980. Put in my sex, sex instead of gender. These have asterisks, but it's not actually the asterisks that make these mandatory. <clears throat> if I go into my easy H, my easy, my uh, language. If I come down here, you'll notice here are my questions. <clears throat> uh, oh, nope, it's not in this one. It must, is it not the language one? No, no, that's that one. It's the config file. I don't know why I have such a hard time keeping the language in config file. All right, here we go. So you notice it says required equals true. That's what makes it required. So if I wanted to mandate that they say, what year of study are you, then I would make this, whoops, I would make that true. <clears throat> Notice that here, you have you, a family member, or a close friend experience problems, right? <clears throat> right Right now, this says true, that means that I'm gonna force them to answer that question. <clears throat> it doesn't matter, that it doesn't have an asterisk, right? I have a friend or family member who's who is or has been incarcerated. We'll say no, not that I know of. I don't even know if I need them to say this. We'll find out from my, <clears throat> and here we made this a drop down member, right? Again, I just made it fit the format that was in there because that was just so much easier. I'll hit submit data. <clears throat> And, right, I changed it so that, <clears throat> unlike my own study, <clears throat> it actually closes with the primary investigator name. I feel like that was a good thing. <clears throat> and this is just, right, the location of Flash Q. If I go into 
Oops. <clears throat> I have to go back into my, there's my XML thing. <clears throat> so this is what my coronavirus, right, students, and, and so we can see at least a little glimpse of the most like and the most unlike statements that they chose and a little bit of what they had to say, right? And then other things are coded, so. <clears throat> but it'll all make sense, hopefully, when I download it. But I can come over here now and I can say there's my criminal justice and incarceration. <clears throat> and I can go to my, here we go, I want to go to this. And, oh, there I am. That's the one I just did, right? Those are my comments, XX, because I am profound, right? <clears throat> and now, since this was just a run-through, right, I can, whoops, I can take this, right, whoops, whoops, ah. oh, that's not what I want to do. There we go. I can come over here and just click delete, right? <clears throat> And it doesn't matter because there wasn't a real, but so everything is working. <clears throat> and then, right, we're ready then for the next stage after this, which will be to um, upload everything into a different system so that it's a shareable link.